viral science the home of creativity hey friends welcome back to another video and in this video i'll show you how you can use this usb device to unlock your computer systems so by plugging this into your computer you just have to touch on this touch sensor and this thing will unlock your computer and you can even try this with your google accounts your instagram accounts facebook accounts and many other accounts and just by touching on this sensor it will unlock your account so you don't have to manually enter the keyboard passwords again and again so now we'll plug this device into our computer system and let Let's see it in action. So right now I'm plugging this and we have come to the password window and just by touching the sensor will unlock this system. So I'll show you how it works. So right now I'm just touching with my finger and boom the computer unlocked so the main purpose to make this device is if you are in a public place and you're trying to lock and unlock your system multiple times in a day and someone is keeping an eye on your keyboard activity what are you typing what passwords you have entered to unlock this so to avoid this kind of situation we will be using this device now what this device does is it stores your password so whenever you plug this and touch on this touch sensor it will enter your password and unlock your system so in this way the guy who is keeping an eye on you will not get your password because you have not typed it on your keyboard so in this way this device works isn't that great so if you want to make this device let's get started with this video this video is sponsored by jlc pcb jlc pcb is a good quality pcb manufacturing company and also provides smt assembly services it holds more than 2 lakh in stock components and provides low cost pcb assembly services in very less time for discounts in prices, you can use coupon codes added in your accounts for new users and SMT assembly services. I have provided links in the description so you can start ordering your PCBs. So to make this project, we will need a USB T Tiny 5, a touch sensor, PCB board, 10 kilo ohms resistor and some push buttons. Next thing you'll need is the Arduino software. Many of you might have this software because all projects are based on this software. So if you don't have, you can directly download this software from the Google. It's a free software. And first we'll need to install the DigiSpark board for our ATtiny85. So we need to copy this URL. I'll provide this URL as well. Then go to file preferences and over here you need to find this additional board manager URLs and press this button to expand and over here press enter and paste the URL on the next line. So after pasting it click on ok to save it. So after saving it you need to go to tools, go to boards and go to boards manager. Over here just type DG or DG Spark or anything related to it and you will find the board. So you can find the DG Stump AVR boards. We need to install these boards. So click on the install button on the right side. So after installing you will find these boards in the board section. So again go to tools, go to boards and by scrolling down you can find the DG Spark board so we need to select this one only default 16.5 megahertz so after installing the boards we need to install the DG Stump drivers so visit this link i will also provide this link as well and by scrolling down you will find this zip file of drivers that is DG Stump dot drivers so download this file after downloading this file extract this file because it's a zip file After extracting this file, open the folders and here you'll find this installation file that is 64 bit. You can find two installation files that is 32 bit and 64 bit. I'm using the 64 bit one and click on yes, select next and allow installation and the drivers will get installed in your PC. To make this project based on touch sensor, you need to follow this circuit diagram. So now I will connect this touch sensor on 80 85 
so i'm using this pcb board and solder the smaller touch sensor on it and now we can connect it to our 80 tiny 85 usb board so now open the arduino code so this is our first project so over here you need to include the dg keyboard library and here we have defined the pin on which we will be connecting the touch sensor so in the if block you can see if the touch sensor detects the touch that means the value goes to high it will print the first line that is password 0 and it will press the enter key to unlock the computer so now we'll select the dgspark board and we'll press on the upload button after the compilation you need to plug the dgspark board into your cpu and the code will be uploaded so now when the touch sensor senses the touch it prints the password zero statement and presses the enter button so it goes through the next line so you can change this password zero with the password of your computer and unlock your computer with this touch so now if you want to make this project with multiple buttons and you want to store multiple passwords by pressing each button it will print a unique password so follow this circuit diagram and make your connections so here we are using tactile push buttons instead of touch switches so as per the circuit diagram i am connecting everything on this pcb board so it will make it compact So now it's time to upload the code. So here we'll modify this code because we are using four push buttons. So we'll copy this if block and paste it several times. So I've added three times. So we are using three buttons and we need to change some more things like we'll change the password variable. So I will add zero, one and two and we'll also change the pin numbers. So I'll be adding zero, one and two pin numbers as well and now we'll upload the code so after uploading the code we'll press the buttons so when i'm pressing the first button it prints password 1 when i press the second button it prints password 2 so in this way you can store multiple passwords into this USB 8985. So here is the demo of unlocking your computer with the touch. So if you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.